Hey guys, how's it going? So recently, uh, for about like six months, I've been working on a project on density functional theory. So under this project, I got to work with a variety of softwares involving the DFT, that is the density functional theory. And one of those softwares was Quantum, uh, Quantum Espresso. So Quantum Espresso is an open source DFT package used for electronic structure calculations and all sorts of things. And it is quite popular and and it, you know, due to its open source nature, it did have a lot of like um, limitations or disadvantages like the input files were a headache to create and the procedure to run these calculations was pretty complicated too if you are not from a computer background. However, in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you guys to a thing called BURAI 1.3, which is a GUI of Quantum Espresso. That is, it is a graphical user interface of Quantum Espresso. So it really, you know, eases the process of creating the input files, running these calculations and everything that was you know holding quantum espresso back has been you know remedied using this amazing piece of software now this software was created by satomichi nishihara i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that correct but i would like to thank this person for creating such a amazing piece of software it is an elegant you know user interface for quantum espresso so this is a introduction video to this software on how to download and install it on your PCs or Macs and then we will be you know just I'll be just giving a brief overview of this software like what it can do and what it cannot do and then in the future tutorials I will be covering the more you know specific parts of like how to perform a specific task or calculation or something like that so you can download this software from this website this is the link to the home page for this burai software and i will add the description to it i'm sorry i will add the link to it in the description down below and then you can download it by clicking on resources and then you know getting the executable file according to your system so if you have a windows pc then you can download it from here that or if you have a mac then you can download one for the mac os or if you have an ubuntu or linux software then you can download the executable from here so and it is open source too so you can even view the source code by heading over to their github page so everything is open and you can easily you know modify this code according to your needs so here is the github repository for burai software package and there is all the software codes right there so just go ahead and download the required executable file in my case i'm using a windows pc so i already went ahead and downloaded the latest version that is burai 1.3 so once downloaded you just double click on this folder to open it and then you go to bin and then just double click on this java file now one thing to make sure is if you run this file and you run into an error then it, it's probably because you don't have the you know required java file because it is built using a java runtime environment or something like that so you do need to have a java package or something like that so although you don't need to worry because it usually you know reminds you of about that and it just uh, handles the process really automatically so it is an amazing piece of software so once you double click on it and open it then you will see a window like this however this part of this you know window would be empty for you because you are using it for the first time therefore the recently used part should be empty in my case i've been running several calculations on several systems so it is showing a lot of recently used projects so what you will do is that you will click on my projects in case you're running it for the first time then you can go to examples 
by double click on clicking on it and then what you will notice is it has three kinds of file supports that is it supports crystal graphic information files that is CIF it supports the .xyz files and then it supports the quantum espresso input output files so you can double click on any of these and there are several files already provided or preloaded into the software so you can just go ahead and double click on any of these files and it will pop up in a separate tab so here I have opened uh, an FFE that is the iron structure so once you open a structure then you can just zoom in or zoom out using the scroll button on your mouse and you can just drag and move it so basically coming to the kind of calculations of what BURAI is this amazing piece of software can do so it is amazing and what it can do is it can be used as a modeler so it can be used to you know model any system like creating stuff like supercells monolayers slabs etc and then it can be used to run several calculations like the SCF optimization molecular dynamics density of states band structure calculations and a lot of stuff however these three features haven't been implemented yet so if you click on phonon or time dependent DFT or the NEB then you will see that it shows that the that these features haven't been implemented so coming back to the original geometry tab so when, when you open it you see a lot of geometrical tabs so it is it you know it it makes the process of creating and um, creating a quantum espresso input file really easy because you have all this sort of input you know boxes where you can fill out the fields very easily without worrying about the correct syntax because as you change these it directly changes the input file now however this was just an introduction or a overview video for the software so I will not go into the deep about all these different kinds of stuff I will make separate tutorials for all these so make sure you check out the second tutorial because I'll be covering the geometry part in that and how to you know model a system so I'll be covering each and every part of this you know software in the later tutorials however I do want to just cover two more things that uh, we just now opened the SIF file however it can even open XYZ files so you can just go ahead and try one of these out like benzene okay so here you have a nice little benzene structure then you can even try to open a lot of quantum espresso input files now the good thing is that it, they have provided the creators have provided a lot of input files like different kinds of calculations like here we have a LDA plus U that is a Hubbard parameter or a Hubbard correction calculation then we have something like hybrid calculations examples um, here so here we have HSC that is the hybrid calculations then we have you know berry phase calculations and a lot of examples have been provided so really a big you know thanks to the creators for creating this because it really did help me a lot in using or you know working with quantum espresso so that's all and one more thing that the, this software even comes with a materials API so in case you want to you know get the st structure for uh, for a particular system then you just need to go ahead and enter that so for example I need the structure of CDSE then I just enter that here and press enter and will automatically you know connect to the materialsproject.org which is another very great website for you know this simulation kind of st stuff it is a great database so it will all uh, automatically connect to that and provide me with the available crystal structure file so here we have the hexagonal or the word side structure here we have the cubic zinc blend structure so you can just go ahead and double click on it and it will open here and once you open that by double clicking on it then it will show up in your downloads tab so I already have a lot of stuff here because I've been using this software for quite some time now so I'm not sure where this latest file that I opened went maybe it will come here once I you know save it alright so that's just a overview or a or an introduction video I hope you guys liked it and do watch my next tutorials because I'll be covering a lot of stuff about quantum espresso and 
uh, you know use it, how to use it with URAI so well that's it thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and have a great day